Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Backstabs on black hearted. Beat the pussy from behind, she a black barber. And you know I'm riding around with a black party. He ain't even got a ass, I'm the one to spit the bag on the last lawyer. Nigga, how you go broke and win back robbing? Cause your ego on the way, you can't ask for it. Nigga, you ain't really about it, you just act hard. Nigga, you ain't really about it, you just act hard. You been just, just going at it like that, man. man. Ah, oh, man, you know that shit, though, man. That shit, though, you know. That's on my bitch shit, man. That shit, that shit. And that's the, the when I drop that gangsta gangsta shit, and y'all be like, man, that nigga be snap. Man, that be the shit when I ain't had nothing else. I had that. Which one of them did, was the hardest one that you wrote from prison? Like when you was locked up, you were like, when I brought her back to the streets, it worked. Man, did big, you do a first day out? You big, didn't do that, that did you? That big timer. That big timer. He wrote that locked up. And I dropped that bitch. Damn, Cause bro. you know why? You know why I dropped that hoe? Cause when I when I had caught a pistol case, you know my nigga just died. Yeah, I had a nigga named Two Three. Okay, you know what I'm saying we had fell out behind some bullshit. Cause we, you know what I'm saying, some shit happened in the streets. You know, the street shit happened, bullshit happened. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And you know a lot of shit coming. You, you know what I'm saying. And being young and shit, you don't understand a lot of shit. You know, in the weight of the world against child and shit, you gonna fall out with a lot of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying. But if that shit ain't, if that shit really don't amount to none at the end of the day, you make that shit right, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Cause a nigga can't be gone tomorrow, you know what I'm nah, saying? One day and I ain't here. gonna lie, niggas fuck up, man. All niggas the time. ain't no saint, you know what I'm saying? Niggas mm -hmm. ain't no saint, nigga ain't perfect. But I'm saying I let to say this, you know what I'm saying? That shit like, goddamn me, me and my, I had goddamn me drop that big timers when I had Yellow Bees end up blowing up. He blew up, yeah. that's on me. But I was in jail at the time. I had did like. 20 months, I had caught a pistol case. Okay. Fucking with my nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? My nigga 2 3, he had died. He just had died like four weeks ago, like like, like three weeks ago type shit. You know what I'm saying? But when we left on bad terms, you know what I'm saying? Because of the pistol, you know what I'm saying? I felt like he should have, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He should have took his pistol case. But the nigga ended up taking the pistol case in the end. They ended up dropping my charges. He ended up going to stay in jail. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't had no patience at the time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And the nigga, we ended up getting built up behind the shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Saying a lot of shit we weren't supposed to say. And my nigga ended up getting into a car crash. You know what I'm saying? He was paralyzed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He ended up dying and shit. You know what I'm saying? He ended up dying. But I ain't want to go to the hospital and, and goddamn, I mean, I ain't want to play on my nigga pride. He go like, I ain't want him to feel like, because he was paralyzed at this time. Yeah. And I ain't want him to feel like that. The only reason I was apologizing to him is because... He like was he felt sorry type. So I thought he was gonna shake back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know what type of nigga he is. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? The Lord took him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling the nigga. But that's what happened. I was in uh I was just, you know what I'm saying? I just dedicated that part of my interview to him because that's my nigga. No, nah, that's you know what I'm saying. What I'm saying, goddamn me, I was in I yellow bees ended up blowing up, I was locked up because I had a pistol case for fucking my nigga. And goddamn I mean, I had came up with big timers in there, and you know, uh, Trap Boy Freddy was on that song, me. Yeah, remix. yeah, 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 he was. He was on that song, me. I'm like, man, this bitch on a remix. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm telling niggas in the county, I say, man, I'm for the, man, if I beat this case, I'm for the come home, I'm for the get a feature from Trap. That's <laughs> all on the G, G, right? On the G. Know what I'm saying? So, shit, you know what I'm saying? That's how that shit happened. I dropped that big time. It's so good, man. Goddamn, man. We out here working. We out here grinding, man. Goddamn, the hottest goddamn me. Pulling cash in the ticks. Goddamn, man. Come scoot up. Get you some of this good content, man. The best dude in the city, man. Like I said, Boss Talk 101, man. The really dumb.